What is a well-planned biobank? Surely, an automated collection, storage, and distribution workflow is everyone's wish. But what is also important is high-quality accompanying data. For this, we need a carefully chosen Laboratory Information Management System, or LIMS, which needs to be custom configured to fit the purpose of your organization. In this short video, you will see some potential pitfalls that you can avoid while choosing, implementing, and using LIMS for your biobank. It is quite natural that when you are starting out, you may not be sure of all your requirements. It is important to remember that making even small changes or adding extra features at a later point can increase your cost. It's good to differentiate your requirements into must-have and nice-to-have. If you are not sure, seek professional expertise. Experts will help objectively evaluate your biobank's business requirements and make appropriate recommendations. There are a variety of generic LIM solutions available in the market that you are spoiled for choice. But the challenge of deploying a generic LIMS is that biobanks are highly regulated with specificities that are not addressed by generic solutions. If your requirement is for a standalone biobank or you know you are not going to expand your operations beyond biobanking, it is best to go for a LIMS that has been built and designed for biobanking. In these LIM solutions, the user interface, or UI, is typically more user-friendly, the learning curve is low, and little configuration is needed all of which reduces your implementation time. Some solutions have attractively low startup costs, but there are often recurring monthly and yearly costs which increase overall expenditures over the long term. This is especially true for solutions that follow pay-as-you-go models. What does that mean? Let's say you start with the basic modules. A few months down the line, you upgrade and add another module. This will increase the monthly cost. Therefore, before de deciding to go with a solution, it is best to evaluate the impact of these recurring costs, especially for additional licenses, support, and professional services. Training sessions are expensive, so it is important to plan your sessions accordingly. Usually, there are two types, administrator training and user training. The administrator performs configurations and manages the system. General users who will operate the system for day-to-day -day activities do not need to be trained as administrators. If your administrator is well-versed with the system, they can conduct the user training themselves. The first step is to identify an administrator, whether internally or by hiring for your needs. Today's biobanks focus on integrating multiple solutions to automate their workflows as much as possible. These advanced biobanks involve equipment and software related to collection of samples, shipping, processing, storage, and analysis. These integrations can be complex and cost-intensive and require thorough planning to complete within time and budget. Professional support with an experienced partner, having both scientific knowledge and informatics expertise can go a long way in putting together an automated biobank. Vendors behind the individual equipment and software will offer support for their own product. However, when there is an issue with an integration where more than two vendors must collaborate, there is a potential for miscommunication or misunderstanding between the support teams. Therefore, it is best to have a single support vendor for all the solutions, especially at level one and two support. We hope you found this helpful.